Vodka. Tequila. Scotch. Beer. Wine. Rum. Gin. Whiskey. Alcohol. Alcohol probably took 20 years of my life, and you can't get that back. Alcohol is a drug, which most people don't think it is, but it actually is. It's classed as a depressant, meaning it slows down vital functions in the body. Alcohol is made through the fermentation of fruits and grains. The process of fermentation is basically letting fruit sit and rot until it can produce a mind-altering effect when you drink it. There's different types of things you can drink that have different amounts of alcohol in them, like a beer. If you just drink beer, that has uh, 2 to 6 percent alcohol. Wine is about 8 to 20 percent alcohol. And then you got your hard liquors, which are uh, like vodka or whiskey, which are about 40 to 50 percent alcohol. When someone drinks two or more drinks, it acts as a stimulant. When they drink more than that, it acts as a depressant. If you binge drink, what you're doing is you're just drinking repeatedly over and over large amounts and large quantities of alcohol. If you put that much alcohol in your system at one time, you can get alcohol poisoning, which could lead you to go into a coma or even kill you. Twelve years old, uh, I was in the seventh grade. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, I think I was 13 years old. It became very regular at 14 years of age. Fifteen years old when I first started drinking. Seventeen years old, starting going out parties, doing things like that. At first, drinking was a sociable thing, you know, I drank with my friends. Thought I was really cool going out with all the older guys, and I'd try to show off in front of them and drink myself stupid. they just go out and party all night. By the time I was probably 15 is where I started drinking at school. Putting it in a water bottle, I would take vodka or gin, something clear that looked like water, and I would just drink in class and pop mints in my mouth. We'd go in, break into his parents' liquor cabinet, fill up our super big gulps full of ice and Everclear and then stop by 7-Eleven and fill the rest of it up with coke and then make it to first period. I was drinking not just at parties and stuff but after classes and after work and even at work. I waited tables so it was very easy access to alcohol. It was just hard to say no. It was, it was so readily available and it was constantly there. My drug problem wasn't something that happened immediately. It happened so slowly that I missed the fact that I was addicted to it. It became a routine, a way of life. The only type of people I would hang out with were people who were using drugs or drinking alcohol. And it got to the point where that's all I cared about. It became far more than just a partying thing. It was um, a necessity. Without having alcohol in me, I could not function. I, I kind of became a loner because I just all I ever wanted to do was just drink and drink and drink. It felt like it was my only friend. It felt like that it was always there for me somewhere. You know, when things were going bad, I could always have a few drinks. Well, for me, it was never a few drinks. It was always a lot of drinks. I was consuming about 30 beers a day, a whole case of beer, and three quarters of a gallon of light rum. I would essentially have that and black out every night. I could do nothing but drink. 24-7, drink, pass out, drink, pass out. I literally started drinking so much that I would shake if I didn't have a drink. When I would not drink, I'd get extremely sick, deathly sick. Just really achy all over and you have headaches and you're so dehydrated that you just, you have no energy. Alcohol had been, you know, in and out my body so much that it had tore away some of the lining of my esophagus and blood was creeping in. I was a physical disaster. I was that far in my addiction of physical withdrawal that when I shut that alcohol intake off, my body tried to shut down. The actual withdrawal from alcohol can kill you, for one thing, if it's too, in too intense. Uh, your body has no vitamins or is dehydrated and you can have DTs, you can seizure to death. That's terrible. I got a phone call. You know that my father was in the hospital and that he was really, really sick. Um, and that he wasn't going to make it. So the next day I got on a plane to go home. And my only way to confront this was to drink alcohol. So I showed up at the airport pretty drunk and my family, you know, saw me there and, you know, they didn't know what to say. The worst thing about it is that my father was kept conscious so that he could see me before he passed away. But instead of disgracing his memory, they'd put him on life support. I had gotten kicked out of this bar for fighting. I was beyond drunk and uh, I was attacked and uh, raped. 
and I went home and I stayed in my apartment for a week. My mom would come knocking on the door, I'd pretend I wasn't home. I felt like it was my fault. You know, I was the one that was at that bar, I was the one that was getting drunk. I went home and I had a roommate and for some reason we got into an argument which resulted in a fight and the cops got called. I blacked out for part of it so I couldn't I couldn't figure out why I in, was waking up in jail. I drank some beer there at the uh, bar inside the, the airport. I just ordered another beer and put my backpack on and started walking through the terminal smoking a cigarette. I, I didn't care what I was supposed to be doing and I uh, ended up getting a fight with the uh, police there at the airport and I woke up in jail. I had staples in my head. In the military I woke up and uh, I actually had to crawl on my hands and knees off the flight deck of the carrier because I couldn't walk and then I got discharged from that and lost a girlfriend and a, a kid and my whole life. I drank to blackout one night. Well sometime about an hour later I got back up. I went to my bedroom. My wife wasn't there. I went to the girls' bedroom and they were all in the bed together, basically hiding from me through a blackout. And I decided right then that I couldn't stay there anymore. I was afraid that I was going to hurt someone in a blackout. Now, I haven't had a drink in three years, yet I'm reminded daily of my alcohol abuse because of the long term effects. I have horrible short term memory, and it makes everyday life very difficult for me just remembering names, remembering how to do things. As a result of alcohol, I had high blood pressure, and I still have it. it. Destroys your internal organs, and I mean, it can destroy your brain functions, your handwriting, small motor skills. It's definitely a poison. I have liver pains, bone and muscle aches that just used to not be there, and it's not from age. I'm not that old. I should be in my prime right now, and I've probably aged myself 20 years through alcohol abuse. Alcohol is slow to kill, but it's the most hideous form of death. If I had known how sneaky and dangerous and insidious alcohol is, if somebody had kind of told me, and if I had known that it's not this symbol for a good time, I think that would have made a difference. It's not like some of the other drugs that instantly after your first time you're hooked and you're addicted to it. A lot of times, you know, most of my friends didn't even like to taste the beer when they first started drinking. It started out as something that was fun, something we did on weekends. How it progressed to an everyday, all-day thing is beyond me. I have no answer to that. I do not understand how that happened, but it did. It's nothing but misery. The last 12, 13 years of my life, I've spent probably over half a million dollars and over four or five years of that has been institutionalized, whether it be in a alcohol treatment rehab facility or, you know, incarcerated. Well, alcohol is just as bad if not worse than heroin or barbiturates or anything else. I don't know, if 60% of people go out to drink and get drunk, chances are that they're going to lead to something else and they're going to end up on the downward spiral. I may not be very old, but I have definitely seen some hellish things from alcohol. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't think someone could get to the point that I was at at my age. I thought that took years and years, but no, downward spiral. It might seem fun at the beginning, but after you get stuck in that lifestyle for years, you realize how not fun it is. It's terrifying.